G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Batsmani. Hope you're doing not bad. Now, I was sitting here before getting this video ready and I was like, you know what? I really need to straighten up the camera, but I cannot wait. I'm pumped for this video. I have a mystery box here. A $200 mystery box that may very well be the greatest mystery box of all time. Alright, I'm just putting it out there. It is sent to me and I paid for it. I paid the 200 bucks. It is from the amazing people at Australia Card Chest or Oz Card Chest. They said, hey Isaac, we hope you love what we put together in this retro mystery box for you. We have filled it up with Wizards of the Coast goodness. Oh, seven envelopes which get rarer and more expensive as they go. Now I will say this, their eBay store is absolutely fantastic, particularly if you're looking at collecting some vintage Pokemon at a little bit more of a budget. Um, I know a lot of people who are getting into the hobby now, they cannot afford to just go straight to eBay and spend, you know, or, or go to Logan Paul's fucking thing and spend 13k on a first edition um, booster pack. But what they can do is they can head to Oz Card Chest and they're going to pick up something fantastic. Now, what they have sent me is these. These are envelopes or envelopes, depending on where you're from. And they are labeled one, two, seven. They said open seven last. They said they get rarer and better as they go. So, Without any further fucking around, let's start, let's start with number one. This is very exciting. The link to Oz Card Chest is down below. Let's see what we have. We have... Oh, I'll turn it over. Oh, we have some vintage Japanese cards. Okay. Let's have a bit of a squiz. <sighs> Ooh, we also have some gym challenge cards. All right, I'm freaking out. This is fantastic. Let's open them up. Oh, how do you do this without terrifying yourself? Wow, hey, look at that. This is fantastic. They've given me a sleeve as well, a um, rigid card sleeve. Okay, I'll put these down. Let's start off right here. We have Giovanni's Nidoran. Let's pull these babies out. Wow! This is fantastic. This is like opening a fresh pack from 1999. Giovanni's Nidoran. Koga's Weezing. Blaine's Rapidash. And look at the quality there. Oh! This is a fucking wet dream. Blaine's Rapidash. Blaine's Do Dudo. Blaine's Growlithe. Blaine's Ponyta. Erica's Jigglypuff. Oh, this is great. Erica's Oddish. And Brock's Geo Do. I tell you what, go and check out their website right now. These guys have absolutely looked after me deluxe right here. This is crazy. We also have the gym challenge in the Japanese version. We have a very good looking Jinx there. A trainer card. A coughing or a wheezing. One of them. Mark. That bloke whose name escapes me for some reason. Mr. Mime. That's wheezing, right? Or is that coughing? Oh, and Charizard's little mate. The Charmander, look at that! Look at that! Oh, fuck me, I don't know what to do. I need to keep on with this video, but I also want to sleeve everything up. Wow. There's the Arcanine. A Rhydon. An ESP trainer. Psyduck. Magma. Meowth. Nidorino. Trainer with coughing or wheezings. That bloke. Slowpoke. And a Weedle. Wow. That's the first pack. That is insane. Alright? That is first pack magic if ever I have seen it. I don't know what to do. I want to put these cards in sleeves right now, but I can't because 
it would take up too much of the video. I really am blown away. I'm gonna put all of these carefully to the side. I'm not gonna bloody fuck around with them, don't worry. They're carefully over there. These will all be sleeved. Don't worry about that for a second. Number two. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to get some more uh, rigid holders. Okay, what do we got in number two? It's at the front or the back? Okay. Okay, we have Pokemon. That's a good start. A little bit of edge wear, that's okay. We are talking 20 years old here. Oh, base set Bulbasaur. Wow. Base set Bulba. Oh, how do you pull this out without revealing what's behind it in the... I'm going to cover it over here so you can't see. Okay. Because these are basically booster packs. Let's open up the first booster pack. With the Bulbasaur from base set. That's marvellous. Oh, Charmander! Oh. So you can see that's probably not a 10. Well, definitely not a 10. Oh, and a squirrel. We've got the starters right here. These guys are probably eights or sevens. Still... Oh. <laughs> Oz card chest. I will send you my underpants, all right? Because they are absolutely soiled, ladies and gentlemen. The Buttsman's undies are soiled. This is fantastic. All right, we have now base set two. There is your Arcanine. Charmeleon, Dugong, Nidorino, Parasect, Sandshrew, Onyx, love the Onyx, one of my favourite Pokemon growing up, and Meowth is the final card. Wow. Man, this is just... I feel like there's so much good stuff here and I'm skipping over it. We're going too quick. For my liking. Alright, what do we have here? We have three cards. Probably... This one's probably a 9. PSA 9. This one would be... Maybe an 8. And this one maybe a 7. Let's go to the 7 number first. Oh, Sandshrew! That's a Shadowless Sandshrew. A Shadowless Sandshrew, ladies and gentlemen. That's fucking not bad at all. That was about a 7, a PSA 7. Oh, it's got actually quite a bit of damage on the front. But that's okay. It's still a cool card. <sighs> a Charmeleon. Wow, that's a Shadowless Charmeleon. Oh, thank Christ. This is this camera's shooting up here. I've got the biggest stiffy of all time. Let's have a look what the PSA 9 was. Or maybe PSA 9. <sighs> a Farfetch'd. Look at that. Shadowless Meaning that there's no shadow there. Uh, on the Unlimited series cards, there is a little shadow there. I'll show you that on the Pikachu very gently. See the little shadow there? Shadow and Shadowless. So it came out first edition, then Shadowless, then uh, Unlimited series. Wow. <laughs> I'm terrified to think what number seven is. Absolutely fucking terrified. Oh, Oz card chest, take my fucking money, all right? The butts might just bought a house, so everything that I spend money on has to be, you know, calculated. But this is just, I'll open it over here so I can get the cards out without seeing what's on them. Okay, that is the correct way to do it, out like that. This is envelope number three, or envelope, depending on where you're from. I'm gonna open it up. Now there is a little bit of wear on these. But that's okay. As I said, we're buying vintage cards here and getting them for an absolute... Oh, steal. Okay. Let's have a look at this one first. So that's probably like a 6 or a 7. PSA. Maybe a 7. That's probably the best. That's probably the second best. Oh, that's probably the second best. Alright. We'll go from the... Not as well grade, probably not graded as highly to the super high grade. Are you ready? A Mr. Mime 
from Jungle. There he is, looking good. What else do we have? A vile plume from fossil. Fuck, I keep saying fossil. From jungle. That being the jungle little symbol right there. A Lieutenant Surge from Gym Challenge. Looking good. This is probably a close to a nine. This is probably an eight. But this next one's coming close to a nine. A Brock from Gym Challenge. And the probably the best card, or the best looking back at the very least. You know, that doesn't look too bad. Is... <laughs> A Dark Arabok, ladies and gentlemen. That is a great pull. This is a... Oh, God. This is just not bad. The Brock, Lieutenant Surge, Vile Plume, and Mr. Mime. We move on. Halfway through. Goodness me. It's all happening. Let me open this. I don't want to knock the camera over like I do every bloody episode. We've got a shit ton of cards. You know what we should do? Let's just treat it like a booster pack. Even though I've just tipped half of them upside down. Let's turn them over. Oh, Mankey! First edition, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Oz card chests. I owe you my life. Holy dooly. Look at that. Oh, let's pull it out and have a look at the back. Not bad at all. You know, a little bit of damage, obviously. It's an old card. That's fine. The next card is a bell sprout from Fossil. First fucking Fossil, it's jungle, you idiot. First edition. I love that stamp, that thick stamp. It doesn't matter if it's on a common card, it looks amazing. Ooh, a Parasect first edition. Let's check the bell sprouts back. Not too bad. Get in there, you bastard. A Dark Radicade from Rocket, from the Team Rocket series. That is a thick black stamp right there. <sighs> oh, Giovanni's Magikarp, looking not bad. From Gym Challenge. Misty's Magikarp from Gym Challenge. First edition. Tentacle from Fossil Isaac. Fossil. <laughs> wow, and a... Seedra from Fossil, first edition. That looks great. The evolution of Horsey. And last but not least, Geo Dude, first edition from Fossil. That is a great selection of first edition cards. Wow. Oh, I'm getting nervous, mate. I'm getting bloody nervous as to what is in pack number seven. Because so far, these are just incredible pulls. I am absolutely. Astounded, if I ripped a card here, I'd be so fucking pissed. Astounded as to what we have pulled so far. Okay, we'll flip it around. There we go. Pull her out. What do we have? Okay, we've got another booster pack. Let's do it like this. Let's work her out. We've got... I hope that Ultra Pro kit isn't on the card. I'm sure it's not. Okay. From best, from worst to best. Boom! Holy dooly! Holy fucking dooly! Holy fucking dooly! A Clefable. Look at that hollow. There's a swirl and everything. Oh! Fuck, I'm a nerd. I love it. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. All right. Ooh, Scyther. Ooh, Scyther. Also from base set two. There is a hollow pattern there, as you can see. Let's have a look at the back. Obviously quite a bit of whitening up the top. Maybe like a PSA 6 or something. <laughs> Haunter. Oh, everyone loves Haunter. Fantastic card. I think those scratches hopefully are on this and not the uh, card itself. That is from Fossil Unlimited. Last, oh, Brock's Nine Tails. Wow, have a go at it. That is unbelievable. That is probably the best card uh, shape-wise in there. Oh, that's fucking, that's a nine. That is a nine. No doubt in my mind that that is a nine. Oh, God, this is like the best day ever, man. 
I'm having the best fucking time. Don't even worry about it. All right. The penultimate envelope in one of the great vintage openings in YouTube history. It's up there with Logan Paul, I'll tell you. Okay, what's this? Okay, turn that around. This is number six. This is one card. One card in a sleeve, in a, <laughs> in a top loader, in another sleeve. Oh. Okay, what do you reckon it is? Let's check out how it looks. Bit of damage there. Up the top, not as bad. Maybe a seven, maybe an eight. Oh, first edition Kabutops. Wow. Look at that. Fucking Oz card chest. Oh, I love thee. Holy dooly. Look at that. A beautiful hollow from the Fossil series. Those fucking dangerous looking arms. Boy, I don't know how he picks shit up. But absorb sharp sickle. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be sickled by those sharp sickles. That is unbelievable. Okay. We've come to the final one. Oz card chest. Go and check them out right now. The link is down below. Envelope number seven. The final envelope. I'm taking a deep breath because I'm terrified. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. God! Oh, hang on. It's fallen out. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow! Look at that! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh, we have to open it, don't we? I'm no longer able to make this decision myself. You know what? We don't know what's in there. We have to open it. Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. Oh. 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 Gently, Butterfield. Gently. This is a 20-year-old pack. Oh, look. There's an Abra right at the front. Oh, wow. There it is, the first time they have seen the light of day in 20 years. Abra. Wow, slow poke. Machop. Charmander, that's a great pull. Pack fresh. <sighs> Voltorb, this should be the hollow if there is one. Mankey, maybe the next one. Let's have a look. Dark Radicade. This is it. Da, oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a pull! Where's the bell? Holy dooly, Ruben Wiki, that is the pull of the year from one pack. Oh, I've had a fucking aneurysm, Jesus! Oh, Dixon! <laughs> I pulled a Charizard. Very exciting. She's she's pumped. It's going in. It's going in this top loader before I do anything else. Oh wow! That is what we wanted, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best cards. In the set, the Dark Charizard, and look at that. It's heavy on the top, but who cares? Maybe that's a nine, but that is fantastic. Oz Card Chest on eBay. Their link is down below. Go and support them for the help in making this video. Wow, that is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. 
Let's finish it off. The Dark Persian, Imposter's Oak, Revenge, and an Energy card. Ladies and gentlemen, go and check them out because I tell you what, they have hooked your boy up with so many quality vintage cards that it is absolutely outrageous. There we go. I'm just going through them real quick. We also have the ones that aren't currently um, put in card saver, so I won't break those out just yet. Uh, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely pumped, all right? Beagle motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Thanks for joining us, and make sure you subscribe. The first Dark Charizard on the channel. That's fucking not bad. Toodaloo, bye.